gentlemen, now for the official introduction, the fighter fighting out of the red corner, weighed in at 66.1. He's at 27, stands 5 at 10. He fights out of Cuba, Jim and Hells from Leicester, Bogdan Gabriel. And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner, weighed in at 66. He's at 21, stands at 6 tall. He fights out of his squad, Hull and Hells from Hull, Ben the Ghoul Singleton. Your referee, Mr. Simon Studnitsky. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we roll on here at Almighty Fighting Championships 33. Bogdan Gavril fighting out of the, want to say red corner, phew. Fighting out of the red corner, he's in the black Allura shirts, and he represents Jim Cuba Lester as he takes on Hit Squad Hulls, debuting Ben Singleton in the red and blue Eric's, who just wow, slugging it out straight away. Yeah, they're they, that's they're not feeling this one out. <laughs> no, and we've seen um, we've seen Singleton. Well, I've seen Singleton in a lot of uh, quite a few K1 fights. He's a really solid striker. I think maybe um, shot by Bogdan coming at him so hard there to start. A little bit off balance, threw a kick as he, uh, as a punch slipped, but he's retaliated well. But, I mean, he loads up that right hand as Gavril. I mean... Yeah, it's coming from his hip, isn't it? Holy moly. Singleton shoots a nice double, gets to gets the right side with it. Uh, sat back into the guard, oh. which is, just gives Bogdan half a chance is on he, that guillotine. Yeah, is he trying to... Has he got the... No. Can't see if he's got the hands hooked. Yeah, he's got a grip on it, but he needs to get onto his left side and he's flattened out and I think giving it up now. Well, that was, um, you know, with a frenetic pace, Tingleton did really well there to drop under and get the double leg. There's a bit of, bit of a grimace. Yeah, he's got that left hand back in under the chin, but as I say, when you flatten your back, it's hard to get that finish from there. Singleton looking to fight the hand. Yeah. I think that head's going to pop out. He's got some breathing space under there. You can see he's got that right arm in on the choking wrist. Bogdan doesn't want to spend too long here if it's not on burning his arms out. Looks like Singleton's got the choke off from um, using that grip inside Bogdan's so, left hand. So now you make some gurgly noises and get him to squeeze tighter for a minute or two if you if you think that you're safe there. Uh, Bogdan seems quite happy to keep holding on this, but I don't think it's there. On the other, on with the other side of things, though, he's threatening with a submission hold for a minute and 10 seconds of the round. But now Singleton looking to rain down hell. Yeah, Bogdan, he, he's just, he's 100% everything he does, and he's, he's pushing away, trying to throw the up kicks. Singleton just trying to control the pace of this fight because, um, yeah, Bogdan's quite intense. And again, is that gonna have, a, is that gonna have an impact on the gas tank and the cardio? Or is that just the way he... <laughs> He's got some distance. Yeah, pushes away well, but Singleton straight away closes the distance. Oh, nice right hand on the break. Bogdan loads up on that. That right hand, yeah. And a good sprawl this time, but Singleton stays on it, driving through, gets Bogdan back to the fence. Goes for the single, nice wide stance at the moment. Is he gonna be able to rip him down? Few seconds left. And that's the end of the first competitive round, but surely has to go to the Cuba. Lester, man. Yeah, I mean, loaded up, landed some big shots, didn't it? Singleton had all the top position, get a couple of nice takedowns. Got threatened with a guillotine. I don't think the guillotine was ever particularly close. Singleton worked his way out of it, but struggled to get much of his offense off. I'm sure he would have liked more time on top yeah. to work landing the ground and pound but for a lot of it he was having to fend off the guillotine so what it was yeah. having to defend so. and if he wasn't defending off the guillotine it was constantly bogged and coming forward always pressuring and again winging that right hand from last saturday yeah i don't know singleton's a you know a good striker from seeing his k1 fights but sometimes when someone just comes at you with that kind of pressure, yeah. it, it's, it's hard to be stay composed. You can be as technical as you want, but if you're in the middle of a whirlwind, you're... Well, seconds have cleared. 
We'll see if Bogdan Gavriel again, the Jim Cuba Lester man fighting out of the red corner, the Black Allure shirts. Shorts, see if he can keep that. <laughs> yep, he throws that right hand like a sledgehammer. Yeah. Well, there's going to be space for Singleton to come down the pipe if he can keep that composure. That's a little bit better for him there, but Bogdan is just yeah, relentless. Yeah, he likes to just get into that space and throw low. Oh. Yeah, Singleton shot in again. Yep. Bogdan jumping on the neck, but it's, it's not there. But again, a threat. And a <laughs> beautiful like a, a sprawl out. Plank sprawl. And, and transitions nicely straight into some aggressive punches again. Just not giving uh, Singleton any, mo any room to breathe. You say aggressive punches, I'm going to say it's an aggressive punch. It's the right hand all the time. The left he throws out there, the right he sends with a rocket. There we, yeah, that's a nice counter from Singleton. Yeah, those sharp straight punches, those are what will win it for uh, yep. Singleton in the striking. But again, with uh, Bogdan loading up so much, it is offering that opportunity for Singleton to get the takedown. Straight in on the double leg when your opponent's lunging forward so much. Yeah, it's in, in the half guard here. Again, just waiting to try and just waiting for that grip on the neck and the head to release so he can pop that head out. Yeah, but Bogdan needs to let go of that grip Yeah, he could get Von Flug from there. Well, now inside control. Is he going to try knee on belly? Looks like uh, Singleton might be going for it. He's got the arm trapped. This is a great position if he does want that Von Flug. Bogdan's got to try and get his hips out the opposite way because this could end badly. Oh, I thought for a moment he'd crucifix the Right arm of Bogdan as well, but no, just side control, smothering heavy pressure, chest to chest. Yeah, knee, knee to the body. I w All right. Yeah, step over into the guard, run into the mount. That's, that's fine. Yeah, good position of Singleton now, knee on belly. Tough landing some shots, working hard to keep Bogdan grounded. But Bogdan, again, no quitting the man. He's got his hips to the cage, got his back to it, and up, and now standing on the uh, standing on the panel to give him a little bit extra height as well for a moment. Yeah, Singleton staying on him, close to chest to chest, and then looking for the uh, looking for the double again oh. because he knows every time there's a bit of space. And that oh. happens. <laughs> Bogdan's off his feet throwing some of these shots. Oh, yeah, he's it literally everything going into it. Sprawls out again. And good shots on the break there from Bogdan, who's uh, come alive again. At the end of the round, a good knee from Singleton there, though. And in the stand-up exchanges, just, just, you know, and I'll say it again, I, I know Singleton's a good striker, because I've, I've, I've seen him win fights in kickboxing. I think it's just the intensity and just not giving him a moment to breathe, which is not allowing him to yeah. you know, really get his mindset about what he's doing. He landed some nice straight shots and knee near the end, but Bogdan, it, you wouldn't call it the most technical, but with that intensity coming at you non-stop, yeah, it's quite it, hard to deal with. Is it fair to say he's a little bit unorthodox in terms of his, in, in how he presents his art? I mean, <laughs> he's going to throw punches from everywhere, no matter where his feet are underneath him. And again, if he finds a home for that right hand. Whew. Four seconds are cleared. Again, Bogdan Gavriel fighting out of the red corner. The Jim Cuba Lester man, 1-0 record. Black Allure shorts. And Ben Singleton, the hit squad hull prospect, making his debut in the red and blue Eric's. Here we go, touch gloves and three minutes to separate them. Oh, oh, big right hand, but Singleton's got a chin. That yeah. was a big shot right oh. at the side of the head, but do not look phased by it. Beats right, it well. Right now, I'm going to suggest anything that anything big that lands from Gavril is going to be a right hand. <laughs> Singleton strong in the clinch, under a couple of good knees there. Bogdan dirty boxing his way out of it. Nice counter left from Singleton. He knows there's going to be room when that right hand <laughs> comes. There's going to be room inside it. 
He's just having that commitment to, uh, to get inside it. And of course, he knows at some point it's coming. <laughs> and there it is again, and again, and again. The pressure is immense. Yeah, non-stop, going head and body with the dirty boxing. It's good work from Bogdan, keeping his man on the fence, keeping him hemmed in while he lands the shots. But Singleton, great timing there. See, it's get the his man down. Right now, it's been like the takedown versus the striking, but now Singleton on the back, and Andre Winner going mental in the Cuba yeah, Lester corner. There. Just getting that gum shield back in. And Bogdan just sort of threw him over the top. Singleton did a great <laughs> job there, though, to get on the back quickly off that exchange. Singleton again. M more than happy to initiate the takedown, trying to work that single leg, but a great sprawl out from Gavriel. Yeah. And I'm going to guess a right hand's coming. There it is. <laughs> yeah, good hip save. It's like even sprawled with like two arms over, which usually is a no, but it worked for him because he just, it's full commitment on everything. Yeah, he doesn't, yeah. Looking he threw that, like 10 finger guillotine now. I think I've only ever seen that pulled off once. That was Bradley the Bear Scott in, in the UFC. On to the back now. 40 seconds left to work. Takes him down. Again, just keeping that headlock yeah. so that he can turn in. I mean. That's not something, something ever, some, a coach would ever teach you to do. No. <laughs> For some reason it worked. Go, oh, nice knee to the middle from Singleton. Yeah, he's worked well in the clinch. Has landed some good knees from there. I think we need something big for him at the uh, end of the round. And you could, uh, you could see he was waiting for, to disengage the throw, but Gavro beat him to it again. And he's going to hit on the break there. Right hand. Great fight. Yeah, it's kind of maybe technique first. Effort. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, you know, Bogdan had a dead smile on his face. Just, he's had a really good time. Yeah. Um, well, unorthodox. With a right hand that you need to you need to pay attention to. Yeah. Is, you know, we we don't make the decisions, but if he gets the nod, here, it's, you know, it's one of those like will be skill sometimes. Yeah. It's like not that he's got no skill, but like. Singleton was the, I guess, more the technician. Yeah, the, the he was cleaner he, strikes. He was scrappier. Yeah. He came, in, but he was he was in for the fight. He, yeah. Wow. How do you have it? I stop scoring it. I mean, my gut says Bogdan. Yeah. That's yeah. Well, Mr. Seth Khan is coming in. He's going to put both. Well, he's certainly going to put me out of my misery because I. I haven't got a clue. I would have to. I favor red by the slightest of margin. Mr. Seth Khan, it's going to make it official. Fighters to the center of the cage, please. Fighters to the center of the cage. Ladies and gentlemen, after three hard four rounds, we go to the judges' at scorecard 29 28. 29 28. And 29-28, all three judges score this in favor of your winner, Bogdan Gabriel. Please show your appreciation for Ben Singleton.